Hey gang, GMapper14 here. Guess what I have in my possession? The newest Nook Glow Light. It's still called the Nook Glow Light, not the Nook Glow Light 2, not anything like that. It's just the Nook Glow Light. This is the 2013 edition. So it's like the Kindle Paperwhite where it says Kindle Paperwhite 2013 versus the old one. Same thing with the Nook. Uh, but this Nook, compared to last year's Nook, is a humongous change, at least aesthetically. Software, uh, it looks like a huge change too. Uh, and we also just recently reviewed the Kino Paper White uh, last year's model, so we have the new one and the old one. So we will be reviewing uh, or comparing both of those. We also have the Kindle Paper White 2013 edition, and we will be doing comparisons with that and this device as well. Uh, depending on your deal, the you know local Nook store where you buy it, uh, I got a letter from the Nook when I purchased mine, and it says there's a five dollar book credit inside. They really want you to buy it right away, which is awesome, uh, and it gives you this nice little card. Congratulations on your new Nook. We'll flip it over and it tells you how to fully charge your Nook, you know, make sure you have Wi-Fi access, uh, best entertainment, stuff like that. So that's a really nice feature that Barnes & Noble does. They also brag that this is the same price as the Kindle Paperwhite and the, this does not come with advertisements. So for the same price as the Kindle Paperwhite, uh, you are advertisement free. Because if you buy the Kindle Paperwhite, you uh, pay $120 and you get... <clears throat> you get advertisements and you have to pay like 20 or 30 dollars to get rid of them here no advertisements and it's 120 dollars also a great deal going on till uh, end of december i believe but you might have to check members get 10 percent off so you save a little money eight dollars that way also uh they're having a deal right now where if you go and spend 75 dollars at barnes and noble you get ten dollars promotional gift card so for every 75 you spend you get one of these so go ahead buy one uh, 75 and you'll get ten dollars back and so you just you'll save a lot of money on this in the long run anyways let's take a look at the box nook glow light wi-fi it's got the new looking design uh... on the side nook the top the n looking logo says nook.com barcode contains usb reader and usb cable and nook reader and on the back it's got this simple thing where it just tells you the book so let's go ahead and open it up here we go looks very much similar to the old one the container I mean so we'll just move this over here here's the start manual and here is the device itself we'll move that over here here is the cable it's white now instead of black so they're trying to go to a more lighter color where the Kindle is all black so I guess they're trying to differentiate themselves so if you see someone holding a white device you know it's not a Kindle right away uh, okay so here's the cable it's a nice long white sync slash charging cable and over here you have the Nook start guide we will not look at that it just tells you know basically how to get around the user interface has changed uh, a lot from the old one as from what I've heard so first off it's much lighter much thinner um, the other one was very good I mean it was just outdated for its size compared to the Kindle Paperwhite which the Kindle Paperwhite upgraded recently and is very light also the light on the Nook Glow Light was um, subpar compared to the Paperwhite anyways here's the device let's uh, go ahead and turn it on around the outside by the way you have the Nook button on the bottom you have the charging and the light right there on the left and right you have nothing except for let's see on the right you have the power button and that's about it I may be wrong but I heard they took off expandable storage on this device so but you do get two gigs compared to the uh, one gig you get on the Kindle so you're still getting more space alrighty well let's turn this thing on uh, grab the power button on the right left, left side hold it down for a little bit and see there we go uh, as in the old Nook Paperwhite like I said we're not going to um, compare them right now since that's another video but on the old one it had the back with the power button and the old one everyone liked the uh, beveled shape back where you could grab onto it with your hand and it was a lot more comfortable on the new one they've gotten rid of that but it's still very comfortable to hold and has a rubberized edge okay here we go hi welcome to your Nook Glow Light uh, experience everything you love about reading in a new way next they're very confident of this product <clears throat> and they, that's why they give you so many good deals when you buy it right away so you get some great discounts long terms and conditions no one ever reads 271 pages of that uh, we are in central time next 
Wi-Fi check-in connection. Let me uh, plug in my information, and I'll be right back. That didn't take too long. Uh, also, real fast, I noticed that the edges are still sunken in, which uh, people complain, saying you don't need that anymore since it's e-ink and it doesn't use infrared lasers. Anyways, I don't really care. At least it's not as bad as the Nook before it. All right, so we're done putting in the password. Let's continue with setup. Now I must sign in to my Barnes & Noble account. One moment while I do that. You can create a new one, by the way, or sign in, so just in case you were wondering. Okay, finished registering. Here it is. This is Glowlight. So this is their competition to the light. Oh, wow, I just can't believe how light this is. Uh, anyways, Glowlight. Give it a try. Hold the end button for two seconds to turn the glow light on or off. So we'll hold it down. And there we go. The light is on. And it is much nicer compared to the old one. You still see a little black at the top, but who cares, right? I mean, it's really nice. Next. So here we go. It dimmed a little bit. But it's a really nice screen, you can tell. Uh, here we go. Congratulations, you're ready to get started. Press the end button to go to your home screen. So this is the new home screen. Uh, I will give a comparison later, like I said, to what the uh, old one looks like. The old Kindle, I mean, excuse me, the old Nook Glow Light, which is right here. So you can already tell some uh, f physical differences a little bit. Like I said, I'm not going to get into that. Uh, first off, changes on the outside besides the lack of an SD card port. Uh, you see no physical buttons, so they got rid of those, but that's no big deal. I never used them. Uh, so here is the device. You know, there's my library. There you go. We have an update, it looks like, up here. Let's see the one. Uh, notifications. There you go. Cool, cool, cool. So here is the amazing new device. We'll just move around. So, pretty awesome. There we go. Hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing of the Nook Glow Light 2013 edition. Uh, hope you like, subscribe, comment, and check my channel out because we're about to do an unboxing of the Nook Glow Light clip cover, the new covers that came out for the device. Alrighty, make sure you stick right around because here is a word from our sponsors. Thanks for watching, guys. Hi yeah. Welcome to GMapper 14. Okay, well, you know it's me because you just watched my video. Well, that video was sponsored by the one and only Alan Joseph Designs. One of the coolest, actually, the only one I really know, where you can get just separate hoods. This revolutionary design is amazing. So instead of having to put a whole jacket on if it's just windy and you want to protect your head, or you got a jacket without a hood, you can now buy the separated hood. Now, this is not just cool because of the jacket factor. Jacketless factor, actually. The cool part is, you can look like your favorite character from many games in... Wait, what was the game? Uh, oh yeah, Assassin's Creed. That is the coolest game ever. And now you can look like it. This video game-like design is where you have these cool-looking aged effect. So if you're making a film about apocalypses, obviously you would want this. Or if you just want to look cool and unique. You know what I mean? Can you honestly tell me you've ever seen something like this? I mean, it's separated. There's like... No jacket attached, so that's really cool. And it fits one size fits all pretty much, but they have multiple sizes. So there you go. Look at that. Look how much length that is. Plus a unique design. Now there is not only this design, by the way. There are many, many other designs, including jackets with hoods built in and attached. Amazing, amazing quality. If you want to see another great hood, yep, you can always go with this design. It's the more comfy, furry girly looking one, so I wouldn't wear this in public, or anywhere actually, but it is very f soft, furry, and the cool thing about this one is it's reversible, so if you'd rather have black on the outside, you can swap it out. This is of course by Alan Joseph Designs, another amazing hood, so if you like either of these or the many of designs that Alan Joseph offers, check out his website, I'll put a link in the description, it is alanjosephdesigns.com, make sure to check that out, and Coming soon, there is a coupon code. You can enter GMAPPER14, all capitals. Once you type that in, you will get a special discount just for watching my channel. Let them know I referred you so I can get more business from them. Thanks again, guys, and hope you enjoyed this video. Many more to come.